Alert, alert, we got a new weight loss trend here and it's called Oat Zempic. Yes, this Oat Zempic trend is going on on TikTok. And I just want to share my thoughts about Ozempic and how it relates to fasting, because guess what? It's basically intermittent fasting. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dion Joy, and I've lost the majority of my weight with a form of intermittent fasting known as one meal a day, fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window. I started my weight loss journey at 282 pounds, which is morbidly obese for someone who is 5'7 and three quarters or 5'8", or 5'7". Yes, it is morbidly obese for someone of that height. I lost the majority of my weight through hell and high water, but I made it through. Lots of chronic pain, um, injuries, gone to car accident, but I made it happen in the most stressful part of my life thanks to intermittent fasting. So that's a bit of a background on my weight loss journey. So I want to talk about Oat Zempic and what the heck is it? You're going to get my reaction to this lovely TikTok video. So what the hell is Oat Zempic? Let's find out. The Oat Zempic drink. So this has been going around on social media for quite some time now. And I wanted to give it a try. I've been trying it for a couple of weeks now. And it's amazing. So I gained like 10 pounds and it all went to my stomach. I wouldn't even care if the pounds went to my ass. But it goes straight to my stomach whenever I gain weight. <laughs> So I've been drinking this drink and it's been really, I feel her when she says it goes right to her stomach. <laughs> that's, that's like, if only the weight could just go, you know, right to our butts or maybe right to like our, you know, like our chest area. Like I don't have problems with the chest area, but it would be nice if it went everywhere, but the stomach, but that's just what the body does. Good for maintaining my weight. So all you need is oats, water, and lime. So you're gonna take a half a cup of oats, a cup of water, and a half of a lime and squeeze it into the blender and blend everything up. And that is your drink. All right, so that's the Oat Zempic drink. Now, from my understanding, there's different ways of doing it. This lovely lady that I just showed in this TikTok video is doing it to help her maintain weight. She lost weight. She's trying to lose like the last 10 pounds and she drinks it first thing in the morning. My understanding of this Oat Zempic trend is that you basically fast for 16 hours during the day and all you consume is this Oat Zempic drink. So you're having half a cup of oats, half a lime, and a full cup of water, and you're blending it away. So what is happening here? Is it the chicken before the egg? What is it? Is it the fasting? Or is it the oats that's making people lose this weight because people have found success with it? I want to say it's both because we all know what I talk about on my channel when it comes to weight loss. Fiber, 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 fiber. Fiber is everything. And of course, fasting. So basically, when you are combining a high fiber kind of diet with a fast, you are going to double down, bringing down your glucose levels because it is the glucose levels that causes us to get hungry. It's the glucose levels when they spike that causes damages to our DNA. You guys know I say this several times in our in my channel, not damages to the DNA, the mitochondria, which actually technically has DNA. So huh, I wasn't that far off. Bit of a science nerd. The mitochondria does have its own DNA, but I'm not going to get into the evolutionary history of eukaryotic cells. But dialing back here. So it's the spike in the blood sugars that causes people to have insatiable hunger. And this is a, as a result of our crazy food. Now, what is going on here? Is it the fasting and is it the oats? Well, it's both. Oats contain a high amount of beta-glucan, which is a soluble fiber. It is found in oats, barley, and rye, and it can help bring down your blood sugar levels because we all know that fiber helps to do that. How does fiber help us bring down our blood glucose levels is because it feeds our gut microbiome. So our gut microbiome is responsible for helping us bring those glucose levels down. There's a whole symbiotic relationship between our gut microbiome and our body. So when you have a high fiber diet, it's going to help you lose weight in many ways. It's going to help stretch out your stomach. It's going to help 
which stretch out your stomach in a way that tells you that you're full. So it brings in that satiety hormone that is released when our stomach is stretched out. So I think it's a combination of the both. So my understanding is that you're just consuming this one drink. Now, everyone's kind of, you know, we're kind of getting close to discovering what causes people to lose weight. We're getting closer and closer. So I rather people do oat zempic as opposed to Ozempic because they're, you know, of course, the dietitians coming out with their, you know, their their holy grail and their their, you know, high, high, higher than now ego being like, there's not enough minerals and stuff. I might have to agree. When it comes to weight loss, you do want to focus on eating protein. Protein is going to help you lose weight. Now, you don't need to be eating copious amounts of protein. You don't need to eat be eating one gram of protein per body weight. You don't need to be doing that, especially if you're morbidly obese, because that's a lot of protein, but protein is important. So this is missing the protein. However, you can do this as a temporary fast. I've never tried it myself because I think there's better ways to help reduce your appetite, like one meal a day, fasting for 20 hours a day, eating within a four hour eating window and eating foods you want foods that are whole foods where you're going to have the protein. I feel like Ozempic is, should be like a short-term thing, but it is better than the real thing, Ozempic, because we all know what's been happening with that. There will be a podcast video on all of that. So it it works. I believe it works because of the principles. Let's just think of the principles here. You're fasting, so you're bringing down your, your blood glucose levels. You are consuming oats and you're consuming something lime, which is kind of a bit of an acid. So that's going to help bring your blood glucose levels down. Now it's not the same as apple cider vinegar, but limes may have the same effect. So it's bringing that level down. But I think like the best way when it comes to crushing that hunger is definitely the fasting. 16 hour fasting, it will, I see it's a bit flawed because you're fasting for 16 hours a day. You have this drink and you're most likely going to have this drink at noon. And most people don't go to bed around eight or nine, right? So if you think about it, it gives you a lot of leeway to mess up. What I like about OMAD is that you are fasting longer. So maybe if you want to try this Ozempic craze, maybe do it in a way where you're fasting longer than 16 hours. That's probably the flaw that I see in it. But personally, it's not a diet I would do. It's not something I would do. I like the form. I like time restricted eating in the way that I'm still getting in all of my calories that I need to eat to lose weight. I'm just condensing it in a smaller window. So there's my take on this weird old zombie craze. I think there's better ways to intermittent fast, but we're getting closer and closer and closer to figuring out what's causing people to gain weight. And the high fiber is key. Get in that high fiber. And also the key is the fasting. So there's that. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word oats and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.